Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Andy and this is going to be a video, a vlog of me reading Blackwater by Michael McDowell. This is a book that I um, got for Christmas from my friend Brent who is a librarian up in Penn State and he had to piece together very, very, very sketchy clues in order to find me this book which I originally read back in middle school when it was published. And I remember this as um, a series of very short novellas. And when I read the um, intro to this book, it said that, um, I guess back in the eighties, it was pretty common. Um, horror genre was very, very common. And so this was one of many um, publications back then but this was one of the better written horror series and that it was um, published as a set of very short books, which according to the introduction later inspired Stephen King to write um, uh, Green Mile the way that he did in those short installments. And I do remember when I read this in middle school, how creepy and atmospheric everything was. And I remember how it felt, um, like this was this saga, this big, long, drawn out family saga, and just this underlying creepiness to everything. It was set in the South. Um, there was a big, like a family tree, um, a town map. I, and I remember all this stuff. Well, the only clue that I could give to my friend Brent in order to find this series was that it, I thought it might be set in the South. I knew it involved kind of witchy women or some kind of like women with magical powers that it was horror and it dealt with maybe a swamp and piecing that together he found Blackwater and this is absolutely the book I remember so I just started reading this maybe about a week ago maybe less I'm on page 101 right now which really bugs me because I hate to end on a page number that has zero in it, but I kind of ran out of time last night. But um, I can tell you the writing is just gorgeous. And I'm sure I did not appreciate the writing in middle school, but reading it as an adult, it does not disappoint me at all. It still has that same, that eerie feeling. It still has that, un, that just that uneasy um, comfort level with the main character you know there's something going on with her and you just can't you just don't understand really her background no one does um her name is eleanor she was just kind of introduced to this town um perdido in during a flood and no one knows anything about her um and it's she unsettles two characters very much they cannot stand her but the rest of the town just falls in love with her and I'm just getting drawn in and I feel I want to take my time reading this, but I don't want to stop reading it. So, um, I, I think I'm going to really fly through it, but I, I really don't want to, I really want to, to absorb this and really, um, really feel the, all of the, the power of the writing. So this is my beginning. Just, I'm just getting started. It's a pretty fat book and here's where I am right now. So hopefully this vlog is the start of a lot of um, interesting action-packed videos of me reading this book and kind of giving an update as I read it without spoilers. All right, thanks. Like and comment. Well, wait, this isn't the end of the video, though.
everybody. Welcome back. This is part two of my reading vlog of Blackwater by Michael McDowell. My name is Andy and welcome back to my channel. Um, I am 211 pages into this book and I have to say this is such a great book. I am loving everything about it. It's creepy, but it's also um, really pulls you into this family drama and the creepy elements, the horror parts of it are so subtle that you actually sometimes have to go back and reread. Like, did I just, did I just read that? Did that, did that just happen? It's just such a subtle menace. And um, one thing I've been doing as I'm reading this is marking parts. Um, I've started noting little parts J just to go back and reread some of these um, passages are just so powerful and so well written I I am just so impressed with this book and I'm really impressed that this is a book I enjoyed in middle school and now I'm rereading it as an adult and still really enjoying it for probably different reasons I don't really remember it that much from middle school but um, as I mentioned before, this was originally published as a series of small novels, small novellas, I guess. Um, so I think I'm currently in the second, in the second book, towards the end of it, maybe. And the main character, um, Eleanor, is you're kind of on your side, on her side, but you're also kind of creeped out by her. She, some of the stuff she does is really messed up, but it's also I mean, you're a little bit rooting for her too. So it, it's just, it just is so, so good. And, um, the writing is beautiful and humorous. Um, some of the writing is so well, it, um, like the author makes the river very much a character in this book, as well as the town, not just like, not just as a setting, but actually like a, a character, um, part of this novel. So I just can't say enough about it. I'm really enjoying it. I've only read 211 pages, but for me, that's pretty good in a week. That's pretty good. So I'm trying not to fly through it. It's probably not in any danger of that, but I am, I'm, I'm really impressed with this book. Again, all credit to my friend Brent for finding it. And I am looking forward to reading the next part of this. Um, probably next week I'll probably uh, read a lot more of it. Um, but I think that's about it for this little check-in. So don't forget to like and subscribe and comment. All right. See everybody later. Bye.